How you doing, guys? Chris back here again with some more. We're all here in MTG Arena today. We're looking at Lila, undefeated slick shot. Um, if you cast a multicolored spell, like a prismatic command, for example, while she's on the battlefield, as it resolves, it becomes plotted. So you can cast it again on another turn. Opponent. Kept their hand. Land tax. Interesting. Um. Yeah. I was gonna be like, maybe, maybe we try to be cute and uh, just don't play a land, but uh, I'm gonna have to play lands. Something that has to happen in this game called Magic: The Gathering. So, the way this works is that my commander either immediately dies and does nothing throughout the game, and I have to uh, make do with bad multicolored spells, or she survives, and these not so great multicolored spells become uh, kind of reasonable, kind of gas. Um... I think they're going to become gas, honestly. Um, target. Any target? Artifact. It's working so far. There's even a multicolored wrath in this color now. Like, that is, uh, some good stuff. Draw two. Uh, this can go. I probably will not have time to cast it, unfortunately. Quasar dies. Uh. I want to save up my hand so that I have options, you know, options. It is sorcery speed, though. They're plotted, right? Like, even though some of them are instants. Oh. Ah. Uh, destroy target artifact to damage anything. To damage that, destroy that artifact. I mean, that was just kind of offensive opponent. Kind of offensive. They had two hate pieces for us. I guess this wasn't really a hate piece. But it can actually hurt some of our spells. I think. What are you doing? That's a... Uh... That's the thing. Deserve no mercy, opponent. Deserve no mercy. Ah. Uh. Uh, yeah, I'll pay. Sure, discard that. Uh, be dead again, Quasa. I guess I don't need the visionary.
I could discard the Rift to uh, Rift from the Arcane Infusion to the Ill Kind Explosion. If I get an opponent, you uh, are clearly not learning your lesson. Hmm. Run them all back, opponent. Okay, neat. Hmm. Uh. Nothing. Uh, a bird for later. And then we'll hold up the flame of Arnor. The inevitable return of Quasar. I can pull a wizard too. Can you believe it? Get the Pope. Are you indestructible? You're not. Uh, five damage, destroy artifact. That one can go, that can die. My turn. Uh, land. Let's... Arcane Infusion. Yeah, we probably would have uh, stormed off and won there, but we'll never know. We'll go on to a game two. I'm going to game one. Uh, this is one of the one of the decks that I uh, probably could have given a little bit more playtime to, or more playtesting time to. But uh, I don't know the the is it strategies. I feel like. They work or they don't, unfortunately. Um, either cast all the all the little instants and sorceries with your payoff on the field and win the game, or you don't and die. Like there's a little bit less breathing room, I feel, in the archetype. Then you might get another archetype, right? Like if you're a ramp deck and you're uh, just ramping into things. You can get out aggroed, you can get, there are ways to lose, but feels more often than not that when the other deck loses, it loses to itself. Oh, I have Stupid Monkey. Stupid Monkey is good for casting spells. Hello, opponent. Have you met my Stupid Monkey? Do you have any, uh, any of the mere spells I could cast, opponent? I mean, I would like to cast some demir spells. Think of the plots I could go on. Excellent. There's nothing to cast at the moment. Cold Steel Heart. You're ramping, opponent. Brave of you. Herbrask? Again, putting forth some, some scary vibes. Beacon Bolt. 
Hmm. Hmm. Need my commander's bait is a question. Still. Why didn't we block? Okay. Decline. In turn. I mean, every card on my field is terrifying. Monkey's probably pretty terrifying, too. Fair enough. Rude. One ring. It's proof, but not indestructible. It's kind of sad, really. Are you going to pay the... You're going to make the giant? Cool. Here do be a question, oh, opponent. Uh, okay, well... Uh, yeah. Oh, you have to choose. Wow. Well, I'm sad. We're going to breach his deck. We always have been. A good one with burn spells. Hmm. Commander? You're gonna let your crafty cloner die? I could have used breaches, I suppose. Cloner is very cautious. Thoughts on this opponent? Um, can't cast it. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh, that's cool. No attack. Next turn, we can do it. So, two activations of this will kill our opponent. Teach by example will give us a second activation. Uh, and we might even have enough mana to actually protect it now, which would be cool. Uh, teach by example. 
Creative Outburst. Counter Spell. The counter spell has rebound. Excellent. Um, you again? Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that. GG. Oh, that was a good game. I think we're going to end it off there. Two relatively short games, but we are pushing our time. So, uh, Lila, very good. Um... Probably said the is it instant sorcery because when you play her, you have to adhere to color identity. These aren't great. Like Flame of Arnor is probably the best one of the batch, and uh, other than that, your choices are kind of limited. But she's still good enough, apparently. So, either way, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.